Hello and welcome back to another Golden Roundup. This weekly video will just be from me today, as Mr Wallace Clark is not feeling very well. Please don't worry, he's not displaying any symptoms of the virus, he's just not quite feeling himself. I hope you all enjoyed a restful Easter spring holiday. I know it will have been quite different to how you would normally spend your holiday time. School summer term has now begun, and if you access the school website, you'll have been welcomed back by a teacher and seen the new lesson ideas, activities, video recordings and links they have made to help us continue learning and feel connected to Hotspur at this peculiar time. I know lots of you have been enjoying the singing sessions and weekly videos. Mr wallace Clark has talked about the importance of developing our values, beliefs and sense of social justice, which you can do through conversations and discussions with family members. If, after all of this, you're still keen for more, there is a wealth of live lessons you can access on the internet, should you wish to, such as the White Rose Maths Lessons, BBC's New Learning Platform, Twinkle Lessons, Joe Wick's PE Sessions, the author Rob Biddulph's Draw Along Lessons, and so much more. One activity that I've done with my son this week that we really enjoyed, and I actually found uplifting, was to send a hug to a loved one you haven't been able to see during the lockdown. For instance, your grandparents. Here is a short video I made in the garden yesterday explaining how I did this with my son. Take a look. This is one that my son made and he really enjoyed decorating it. Firstly, draw around your hands and forearms, decorate them as you see fit. Then you can send them in the post by picture message or by email to get that extra special hug to someone who really needs it. Why not write a little note to go with it? Here's one that I really liked. I wish I wasn't so far away. I just want to be there for you because I really care. So take this little hug and wrap it round yourself real tight. And the next time that I see you, I'll squeeze you with all my might. That's all for this week's roundup. See you next time.